friends welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new my name is Jenny and today we are tackling this messy kitchen and it's episode four of my spring cleaning series so I'm so glad you're here I'm excited to dive right in I normally would not have my kitchen so cluttered on a spring cleaning day because I would want to focus more on the deep cleaning but it just happens to be messy and so I left it the way it was and let you guys see that process as well so here I am just picking up everything and putting it in its proper home and I'm decluttering all my counters so that I can get started and if you've been following this series and have come back for another episode, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it and I'm glad you're enjoying it. And if you're clicking on for the first time, welcome. I'm so glad you're here too. Again, my name is Jenny and I'm a mom from Louisiana. On my channel, you'll find cleaning motivation, organizing, decluttering, decorating, anything that would help you create a clean and calm space for yourself and your family. That is my passion here on YouTube. So if that sounds good to you and you like what you see, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love it if you would join me on this journey and become part of our family. That would just make me so happy. So thank you so much for watching and let's get into the video. As you can see, I have already started a load. I did this last night and that was some of the teacups from my china cabinet. So I'm just unloading the dishwasher and I'll get all that put away and then I'll load up everything that's on the counters right now. Let me know in the comments how your spring cleaning is going. What room are you working on? What project do you have going? And how is it coming along so far? So this year I broke my cleaning up into six zones of my house to do spring cleaning and so I made six different videos. So this is actually video four in the spring cleaning series. And if you missed the other three, don't worry, I will definitely link them in the description box. But you can watch them in any order, it's just different zones in my house. So today is the kitchen and I just feel like it is so much easier to tackle spring cleaning when you break it up. It is so overwhelming to me to think about cleaning my entire house from top to bottom. And it's so much easier to think about I'm just cleaning my kitchen. So that has been working for me very well this year. Last year I did it all in one marathon weekend and I was like completely exhausted. I had like a spring cleaning hangover. So I am so grateful that I broke it up this year. So let me know in the comments how you like to do spring cleaning. What is your plan for this year or have you already started? Here I'm just loading up the rest of the contents of the china cabinet as well as a few dishes that I had in the sink from breakfast that morning. A few candles sitting on the counter from when I put away my Mardi Gras decor so I store those in the cabinet on top of the refrigerator so I'm just quickly putting those away and I'm using Wyman stainless steel cleaner to clean off my ice bucket before I put it back in my china cabinet Now the first big project I have in here is to deep clean my refrigerator. So I'm just going to start by taking everything out. And 
then I like to pull all my shelves out and bring them into my sink and just clean them with some dish soap and a scrubber. That is just to me the easiest way to get them really, really clean and I feel like I can do it pretty quickly and it's just easier because they're out of the refrigerator and I can get to every little nook and cranny. And then I just take my vinegar spray that I made, it's just vinegar and dish soap and water and just spray it all over the walls of the fridge and let that sit while I scrub the shelves and the drawers. So are you guys ready for spring? I am so ready myself. Uh, we've already gotten a little taste of it so far here in Louisiana. Um, before I was going to my son's football games and we had to wear like a coat and it was really windy and cold. And the last couple games, it's been in the 70s. So we have been enjoying a little taste of spring, but there are a few cold days sprinkled in between. So we're not there yet, but we're definitely getting close. And I really am excited about the warmer weather and going on more walks and spending more time outside. So I'm also excited about spring decorating. In my mind, I like to think that I'm doing the dirty work of spring cleaning in order to earn the fun of the spring decorating. So I can't wait to get all my old decorations out and then buy a few new ones to freshen it up and just kind of go to town in my house and just have fun with spring decorating. I can't wait to share that video with you as well. So after I'm finished the spring cleaning series with all six videos, we're gonna do the spring decorating video. So I hope you guys Stay around for that and enjoy that. I can do anything when I look at you. Oh, oh, oh. I believe everything to be true. Oh, oh, oh. Every little bit of my heart lights up. Oh, oh, oh. Can you please so now I'm just drying off everything with a towel so that I can immediately put it back in the fridge. And by the time I'm finished, the vinegar solution will have sat on the walls of the refrigerator for long enough to where I should just be able to wipe with a paper towel and clean the whole fridge without scrubbing. So thankfully I had no problems with the fridge. Everything just wiped right off. And so I'm going to put the shelves back in. And now I'm gonna remove the shelves from the doors and do the same exact thing. I'm gonna take them to my sink, wash them with dish soap and a scrubber, and then just spray down the doors with the vinegar spray and let that sit while I clean. It's funny because I think the first deep cleaning video I ever did was deep cleaning my fridge. And I did it the exact same way because this is just how I do it. But it was funny to go back and watch it because I wanted to see what it was like. I mean, it was only like four months ago, but I feel like I was just such a different person as far as filming. Um, and I just, I didn't know like where to put the camera and things like that. And I went back and watched it and it was a hoot, but <laughs> it was the same exact process. So I'm basically just repeating that today. I will keep on holding my head high, even if the sky is falling down. And this is just the canister to my steam vacuum that I used in my last video. And I'm just gonna quickly clean that out as well. 
I was really surprised at how well that little vacuum worked. I mean, it was only $100, which for a carpet steamer is a lower price point, but it performed really well. I was very happy with how it cleaned my area rugs. And you guys saw, if you watched the video, I showed the black water and how much dirt it got up just getting halfway through one of my area rugs. So I was really happy with that little vacuum. I really wanna know, really wanna know If I let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for And it's time to put all of the food back in. You guys are gonna see at the end when I show how the fridge looks, it's gonna look pretty pitiful because it was grocery day and we hardly had any groceries in it. But I should have gone to the grocery before and that way I could like load it up with all the fresh food and have it look really pretty for you guys. But I didn't think that far ahead, so I didn't go till later on in the day. So kind of sorry for the um, underwhelming reveal, but when I show you at the end, you'll see there's not that much food in there, but it is clean. I can vouch for that. Even if the sky is falling down. Now that the fridge is done, I'm gonna go ahead and start from top to bottom and clean the rest of my kitchen. So I have my Casabella feather duster, which if you've seen my other videos, you know that I love this feather duster because I can just stick it in the washing machine and the dryer and get it all nice and clean and fresh again. But I'm tackling the top of my fridge and also the tops of my cabinets. I've been thinking about you and all the words that I'm gonna say the next time that I see a pretty face. And this Roman shade in my kitchen is getting a nice little vacuuming today with my handheld shark vacuum with the upholstery attachment. And now I'm moving on to the microwave and I'm gonna clean the inside of it first. And I'm just using the same vinegar spray. It's vinegar, dish soap, and water. And I don't really need to let it sit because the microwave doesn't happen to be dirty right now. So it's just a little bit dirty, but it doesn't have anything like stuck on really bad. So I'm just spraying it and immediately wiping it. And then I'm washing out the little turntable inside. And moving on to the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and take out the racks. I will wash those in the sink, and I'm gonna spray the inside of the oven with the same vinegar spray. This is kind of my go-to spray for the insides of things like this, like fridge and microwave and oven, and even dishwasher, I use vinegar, um, because vinegar is just a really, really good all-natural cleaner for places where food goes. It's what you do. And now I'm just wiping down the inside of the oven with a paper towel and in a few seconds I'll change to a kitchen scrubber because there were a few spots that were stuck on that I couldn't get off with the paper towel. But in full disclosure, um, the reason my oven might not look as bad as it should is because they're relatively new. My oven and microwave are both relatively new. They're just a few months old. So I am really lucky that they're not that bad to clean right now and hopefully they never will be. Hopefully I'll be able to keep up with it so that they never get as bad as the old oven and microwave used to. Um, but I did have to scrub a lot on the glass door. There was a lot of like dried on stuff on the door that I had to scrub off really, really good. But the inside of the oven really wasn't too bad. It's what you do.
And now that the oven is finally clean, I'm just putting the racks back in. And by that time, my dishwashing load was finished. So I went ahead and unloaded that dishwasher and that way I can get all this back into the china cabinet. I wanna do what you want to We can leave and run away Someday Someday Here I am in the dining room now and I'm just filling back the china cabinet with all of the contents and on the left I like to keep all the coffee cups and the servingware like cream and sugar and the caddies and then on the right side I put all of the clear glasses and the ice bucket. If you guys have any questions about this video, any of the products that I use or where I've gotten something that you want to try, just let me know in the comments. I am happy to answer any questions or respond to comments. It's one of my favorite parts of YouTube is just connecting down there with you guys and getting to know you. So please say hi in the comments and let me know how you're doing today. And if you want to get to know me better, you can definitely follow me on Instagram. I'm at Jenny for your thoughts underscore and I would love to connect with you more over there. And now I'm just cleaning the inside of my dishwasher with two cups full of vinegar and I'm running it on the hot and heavy cycle. And then I'm getting back on the stepladder and polishing my upper cabinets with the Method Wood for Good. I love this cleaner because it made my whole kitchen smell like almond, which is one of my favorite scents. And as I said, I'm just working from top to bottom so that as the dust naturally falls as I clean, it's not going to get everything under it dirty. So that is why I'm starting with these upper cabinets before I move on to my counters. You need to get away. And I'm going to start here um, at the kitchen sink and I'm going to remove all of this Mardi Gras decor. And most of my decor is not going to go back after I clean because I'm leaving it as a clean slate for when I do my spring cleaning. But I'm just cleaning off my kitchen window with the Method Glass and Surface Cleaner in the mint scent. We'll work it out, you'll see. If we get in a car and drive someplace far, yeah, we could go for a ride. The two of us, we don't have to stop. These are just the little plates that I keep my soaps and dish towel on, so I'm just washing those off quickly in the sink. We can go where we want. I'll have your bag if you have mine. You and I, you and I want to leave everything. And now I'm just going to clean my sink, the inside of my sink, with some Mrs. Meyers dish soap and a scrubber. Some place 
And now I'm putting a few drops of lemon essential oils down my drain and running the disposal. And that'll give it a nice fresh scent for spring. And I'm using Barkeeper's Friend for my cooktop. Normally my zigzag is a lot prettier than that, but I'm running out of product. So it's time to go back to the store. But it does a really good job because it's got baking soda in it, which gives it that grit without scratching your glass cooktop. And then to remove that cloudiness from the baking soda, I'm going over it with the vinegar spray. And now it's shining up like glass. And while I've got the vinegar spray out, I'm gonna clean the other glass parts of the oven and microwave. I'm gonna make mistakes. And now it's time to clean my Keurig. So this does need to be cleaned more than once a year, definitely. Um, I try to do it like once every other month, but I figured since it's a deep cleaning chore, I'll save it for this video. So I'm starting by just cleaning the outside of the Keurig after I've removed a lot of the removable parts. Um, and I'm just using the Mrs. Meyers all-purpose spray. And so after I can get it like all dusted off, I can go ahead and focus on the inside. Look at the beautiful stars, I wanna drive a faster car. Lay my troubles to rest, blow the smoke through my cigarette. Now the removable parts can all be washed in the sink with warm soapy water. So that's what I'm doing right here is just getting all those cleaned and set aside. And for this little tray here, there was some like little grooves that I couldn't get the coffee out of. So I got a cleaning toothbrush out and that worked really well and did a good job to clean those grooves. Drive a faster car. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make. And as far as the water chamber goes, I'm using my go to cleaner of vinegar. So I filled it up halfway with vinegar and then halfway with water. And then you're just gonna run your Keurig um, with a coffee cup underneath. Um, and just run it through that whole water and vinegar cycle until there's no more water and vinegar. Then you're going to take, I didn't film all this, but you're gonna take your water canister and fill it up again, but just with pure water and then run that through all the way until it's empty. And that way the next time you brew your coffee, it doesn't taste like vinegar. And the vinegar is really good at descaling the inside of your coffee maker. So, and that's really the most important thing that you're cleaning when you clean your coffee maker is the parts that you can't see. So the vinegar does a really good job of that. 
And now that my coffee maker is done, I'm gonna focus on my kitchen counters and I've got my Method Granite Cleaner and I'm gonna do the backsplash and the countertops and everything on the counters and go ahead and clean that next. And again, working my way from top to bottom. Can I kiss you when the night is through? Because right now it's all I wanna do, wanna do. Your lipstick left a mark on my cheek, so I keep thinking of you. Whoa, you wanna do it again? You wanna do it again sometime? Whoa, can I see you again? Can I see you again sometime? If you be standing by your door, I'll pick you up at eight. I said, Whoa, oh, do you want to do it again? Wanna do it again sometime. I want to hear your voice over the phone. Can I call you when I get back home? So we can talk about you and I, you and I. Can you tell me what you want to do? I'll do anything you ask me to As long as I can spend the day with you Day with you Lipstick Left a mark on my cheek So I keep thinking Of you Whoa Do you want to do it again? Do you want to do it again sometime? See you again, can I see you again sometime? If you'll be standing by your door, I'll pick you up at eight. I said, Whoa, oh, you wanna do it again, you wanna do it again sometime? Now that all the counters are clean, I'm gonna remove this Mardi Gras decor and wipe down my pantry door with the Mrs. Meyers All Purpose Spray and the Basil Scent. And while I'm down there, I'm just getting the baseboards on the corners and I go ahead and clean the rest of the baseboards that are exposed in the kitchen. The brightest sky I have ever seen. And I'm taking this overflowing trash out right now and I'm gonna go ahead and clean this trash can. And what I'm gonna use for the liner is the Method Antibacterial Spray, and that way it'll get all the germs. And then for the stainless part, I'll use the Wyman Stainless Steel Spray. Hold tight, my love, we got this one right. And if they ask us where we've been hiding, we'll just shake our heads. So it looks like I decided to clean the inside of the trash can with the antibacterial spray and scrubber as well, but the outside of that stainless trash can, I used the Wyman's. I wish to flatter, not alienate. Since I met you, my life's like 
have the Wyman's out I'm going to clean the dishwasher and the microwave and oven and the refrigerator As I'm editing this I am a little disappointed that I forgot to pull out the fridge that was definitely um, part of the plan was that I was gonna pull out the refrigerator and sweep behind it so I'm definitely still gonna have to do that because I'm sure there's some dust bunnies back there that I would find but unfortunately I didn't think to do it for this video I really wish I would have made a list and so that I wouldn't forget anything thankfully that's the only thing I really forgot but sorry i do apologize that i didn't move out the fridge but i'll just have to do it at a later time and here i am just polishing the base cabinets with the method wood for good And here I am just giving the kitchen a good sweep and then I'm going to steam mop the kitchen with my light and easy steam mop and the method floor cleaner in the spearmint sage scent. Now the kitchen feels so clean and fresh and ready to take on spring and I'm so excited that another zone in my house is done. Now make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss episodes 5 and 6 and if you haven't already make sure you go back and watch episodes 1 through 3 because there's tons of motivation in those and I know you guys will really enjoy them. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today and hanging out with me. I hope you guys have a really wonderful day and I will see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, won't you stay